Next topics are the nature of K to three learners, language learning, literacy learning, language literacy relationship. Let us welcome Dr. Pado. Okay, maraming salamat mga kindergarten supervisors. Magandang hapon sa ating lahat. Okay, sana pag may nag apply na teacher sa kinder, ang isang ipapagawa nyo, pakantahin nyo ng nursery rhymes or parisite nyo yung poems and uh, short poems. Kung wala siyang alam ng mga nursery rhymes saka short poems, wala siyang karapatan na magturo sa kindergarten. No? Uh, ginagawa ko yun nung nasa K2 to kami. Uh, Di ba? Paparecite muna. Pag, pag hindi ka marunong ng nursery rhymes ng poems, eh huwag kang magturo sa kindergarten kasi anong ituturo mo? And I hope we have a collection not only of English nursery rhymes, but Filipino and mother tongue as well. Para during the mother tongue period, they recite the mother tongue uh, rhymes. During Filipino period, then they recite the Filipino para ang tatas nila sa tatlong languages. Para pareho. Okay, uh, I was asked to talk about getting to know the kindergarten uh, to grade 3 learners. How well do we know them? Uh, the presentation of Yusek Ocampo was a, a bit depressing, di ba? Parang bakit ganyan? And I am especially depressed kasi matagal akong nagturo ng grade 1. Lahat naman talaga ng bata nakakabasa. Eh bakit ganun ang result? Okay, so maybe something is wrong somewhere. So, why is there a need to know the preschoolers and the early graders? I think we already know the answer, but I'm going to reiterate it. Skillful, knowledgeable teaching takes place when the teacher is equipped with child development information. Usually, when we teachers prepare a lesson, one thing that we ask ourselves is, kaya kaya to ng mga bata? Yung tanong natin na kaya kaya to ng mga bata, we're asking ourselves, ito yung kanilang characteristics. Uh, nagmamatch ba yung lesson? Kaya na ba nila? Masyado bang mahirap? O masyado ba namang madali? Because kung madali, para naman nating iniinsulto yung bata. Kung masyado namang mahirap, wala. Hindi na sila gaganahan ng lesson dahil sobra ng mahirap yung lesson for them. So we should know them in order to be able to give them lessons that are appropriate for their level. Sabi ni Piaget, bigyan sila ng moderate disequilibrium. Konti lang nahirap para ma-challenge, pero hindi masyadong mahirap. Developmentally appropriate, gasgas na gasgas to sa early childhood when we talk about developmentally appropriate practice. But that is not only for the lower grades or for the kindergarten to grade 3 learners. It is applicable to all levels. Developmentally appropriate practice is based on knowledge about how children develop and learn. So how do they learn? How do they develop? And the most important thing is that teaching means that we approach children from where they are and not from what we think they ought to be. Where are they? Grade 5 na, pero ang reading grade 3, bigyan mo muna ng grade 3 material, tapos unti-unti mong iangat. Grade 3, pero ang reading grade 1, huwag mong pilitin ipabasa yung grade 3 material. Umpisan mo muna sa kaya nila. And umpisa, eh, tapos unti-unti mong iangat. So, we teach from where they are, and not from what we think they ought to be. Sabi nyo, grade 3 na kasi, kaya dapat ang susundan ko yung curriculum ng grade 3. Hindi pa nga kaya eh. So, magda-drop out yung batang yun. Okay. So, when we talk 
about early grades characteristics, we should know their developmental characteristics in terms of their physical and motor characteristics, their social and emotional characteristics, language and intellectual cognitive characteristics because they are related. We cannot just approach the teaching of reading by knowing their reading abilities. We should also know uh, how well can they hold a pencil. What's their social and emotional characteristic? What's their language characteristic? Okay. So, uh, we should also know how are children alike. Maybe they are all seven-year-old children. But I think those of us who have been teaching for so long would know that in a class of 40, all of them are seven-year-old children. Some achieve better than the others. Kaya nga may individual differences eh. Alam natin yun, pero pag tinuruan natin, uh, pare-pareho, parehong lesson para sa lahat. Ang iba board, ang iba hindi maka- uh, habol sa lesson. So, how are they different? Okay. Uh, I am going to talk about age level characteristics, but there are some cautions in interpreting them. Okay. And how does the development or delay in one growth area affect the other areas? Meron akong bata no, nang galing-galing magbasa pero lampang-lampa ang kamay. Di ba? Uh, parang kung papasulatin mong five sentences, one sentence lang ang natatapos niya, ang iba tapos na ng lahat ng five sentences. Kasi lampa yung kanyang fine muscle development. So, magaling nga siyang magbasa, pero there is a delay in another aspect. So, it affects the performance of the child in the other aspects. Okay. So what is that? Is the lesson age appropriate? Is it individually appropriate? And is it culturally appropriate? Yung pang lesson mo na pang Metro Manila child, maiintihan-dihan ba yun nung nandoon sa remote area? And sometimes our, the stories in our books are so unfair. They talk about going to the zoo, visiting a museum. Paano naman kaya yan maiintindihan ng mga bata dun sa remote areas? Di ba? Okay. And we also have student diversities, which are caused by the following factors. Ibang socioeconomic level, it affects uh, the performance of the child. It, for, it affects what the knowledge that he or she brings to school. Iba yung, uh, at saka iba yung home environment ng bawat socioeconomic level. The language differences is a factor. The children's learning styles and the children's multiple intelligences. I think I don't have to expand on this. Uh, expound on this. Alam na natin tung mga differences na to. Uh, but we forget, or our teachers forget, when they prepare lessons for the different groups of students.
Anong sagot niyo sa they can color within the lines? Wala nang lampas. Age 5. Cutting then age 5. Pag age 4, wag pa muna niyong pagalitan ng bata kung lampas-lampas pa ang pagkulay. Talagang uh, hindi pa kaya ng fine muscles nila ang walang lampas. Hindi pa rin nila kayang mag-cut on a line with a pair of scissors pag four. Okay. Wala pang mali? Wala pang tama? Okay, next. They enjoy group play and they enjoy competitive games. They already have a concept of winning and losing at age five. Yung mga kandidato dyan na pag natalo ay dinaya daw, below 5 pa ang edad nun. Kasi at age 5, they already can accept uh, a losing in a game. Okay. They become serious. They enjoy solitary activities at age 6. They can sit down in a corner alone and they can browse storybooks or they can write or they can scribble. Okay. They enjoy telling or dictating familiar stories also at age six. They have high interest in poetry at age five. Kaya lang, walang poem si teacher at walang pinaparecite sa klase, kaya hindi na develop yon. Take note that they already want to put down their ideas on paper at age six. Basta hindi mo napapansinin ng teacher na wrong spelling, hindi capital letter ang beginning ng sentence, walang punctuation mark. Kasi yung mechanics na yun uh, should come later. They have clear ideas and they can articulate them so that after story reading, they can already uh, answer questions asked by the teacher also at age six. Take note, average children have now the ability to recognize printed words at age four. Uh, huwag niyong sabihin ang anak niyo, two and a half years old pa lang nagbabasa na. Average itong sinasabi natin. Average children. And they can read a greater number of words and stories at age six. Okay, so please take note of the characteristics of the children. So let's now talk about the developmental characteristics of early graders. Uh, early childhood education is zero to eight. Uh, but I started my presentation of characteristics uh, at age five, the kindergarten level. Ay, four pa lang. Look at the physical and motor development of four-year-old children. They're very dynamic. They're very acrobatic. 
So you cannot keep them sitting down the whole uh, three hours. They want to move. Okay? They are very active until exhausted. They jump on height and they land upright. They jump over objects. They hop, they skip, they throw large ball, and they kick accurately. So take note what will happen in a preschool class where the teacher always tells the children to sit down. Iba? Hindi pa kaya yon ng four-year-old children. Dapat pa silang gumalaw ng gumalaw. They hop. They stand on one foot. They walk on a straight line. They turn somersaults. They can already alternate feet in going up and down the stairs. They already have sureness and control in finger activities. They can already hold the paintbrush in an adult manner. They can draw a stick figure and they can lay shoes. Huli na nang malaman ko na four years old pa, pa, pa lang pala nakakalace na ng shoes. Nung grade one teacher ako, isang trabaho ko maglace ng shoes ng mga bata. Di ba? At four pala pag na-practice na ng teacher, kaya na nilang maglace ng kanilang shoes. Di ba? Uh, so, pag mga nagsabing teacher, please, uh, pakitali ng aking ano, ano yun? Uh, shoes string. Sabihin mo, I-practice mo kasi kaya mo na. The fine uh, uh, muscles can already uh, handle the activity. Children at age four are very assertive. They can cooperate in groups of twos and threes. Medyo riot pag mas malaki ng group. They develop special friends in group develops, but they suddenly, or uh, uh, very suddenly, pagkatapos na magkakaibigan, pagkatapos nagsishift na ng loyalties. Kaaway na pala. Ay, inaayos pa lang ng teacher, hindi pa nga tapos magalit si teacher, friends na uli. Okay, they can uh, uh, shift loyalties fast. They have terrific humor. Okay. Their mood changes rapidly. Umiiyak pa lang pag may nakitang nakakatawa, tatawa na, di ba? They are very bossy, they are very boastful, and they want to dominate. Stage lang yun. Uh, one parent would say, Ewan ko po, ma'am, kung saan nagmana tong batang ito. Hindi naman po ako ganyan nung bata pa ako. So, ikaw, hintayin mo pag age five. Hindi na yan ganyan. Okay. Uh, very assertive. Very argumentative. Very impatient. If they want something and the friend does not give it to him, they hit, they grab, and they insist on desires. They tell tall tales. They give alibis, and they have food jacks. Okay, yun yung four-year-old children. What about their language development? They have more words than knowledge. Pag merong pilyong tito na tinuroan sila ng bad word, hindi naman nila alam kung ano yun. Basta pag pinagtawanan natin, sasabihin niya at sasabihin yun. Very talkative. Four-year-old children are very talkative. So, give them the chance to talk. Huwag mong palaging sabihing stop talking kasi stage yun. They want to talk. They like words. They play with them. Take note, they have high interest in poetry. So, kung gusto niyang magsalita, isynchronize mo na let everybody stand and recite a poem para maano na doon ang energy niya. They can already talk to solve conflicts. They can already respond to verbal directions. They enjoy taking turns to sing along. Eh kung hindi pinapakanta ng teacher, paano yun? Eh yun ang stage niya. 
They are interested in dramatizing songs. Kaya gustong gusto nila yung action song. And they can invent their own actions. They are also interested in dramatizing poems and stories. Kaya after a story reading, the teacher may ask them by groups to dramatize. They always ask when, why, how, lahat ng why questions. And they can already join sentences together to form longer sentences. Intellectual and cognitive development. Great questioner. Sabi ko nga lahat ng why questions. They are interested in how things work. Kaya pag binigyan mo ng gift, di pa natatapos ang araw, <laughs> na ano na yan, na disassemble na. Because they want to know how things work. They can judge which of the two objects is larger. They have accurate sense of time. Uh, not really reading the time, but they know when it is morning, when it is time to eat, when it is time to play, and so on. They have concepts of some numbers. They already know how to count 1 to 10, and they already know what 1 means, which is, uh, uh, which is more 5 or 4, and so on. They recognize printed words. They begin to generalize, but often it is faulty. Bakit po ma'am tuwing PE umuulan? Diba? <laughs> Hindi naman talaga tama yun, uh, generalization niya. They call people names. They have dynamic intellectual drive. They want to know. They have imaginary playmates. Minsan may kausap, parang nakakatakot. Bakit wala namang ano, tao dito? Kunwari may kausap siya. Huwag kayong matakot. nag imagine siya ng imaginary playmates. Uh, they do some naming representation in art. And by age four, they already have an extended attention span. So notice how uh, the teachers of your four-year-old children would now plan or design lessons based on the characteristics of the children. Okay, let's go to five-year-old children, our kindergarten. They are now completely coordinated. They can look at what is on the board and they can write. Uh, they have adult-like posture. They have tremendous physical drive. Pag nag-cancel ka ng PE, they will hate you. For, uh, nalala ko yung grade 1 teacher ako. Uh, meron kaming student evaluation of teachers. Ang gusto ko sa teacher ko ay, ang ayaw ko sa teacher ko ay, Eh, kung maraming ginagawa, nagka-cancel ako ng PE. Ang nakalagay doon ng mga bata. Ang ayaw ko kay Teacher Feli ay nagka-cancel ng PE. So, uh, they hate you for it. Kasi gusto nila maglaro eh. So, when it's time for, when it's play time, let them play. Okay. Kahit na mainit. No? Mainit sa teacher, magpayong na lang ang teacher. Kasi ang bata, hindi iniindanon yung init. They have tremendous physical drive. They catch ball from three feet. They skip using alternate feet. They enjoy running. They enjoy jumping. And they enjoy doing stunts. They can balance on a balance beam. They jump rope. They are graceful rhythmic dancers. They can now draw recognizable a person, they can dress themselves. Aren't you wondering kung bakit sa kindergarten, after snack time, magbibihis ang mga bata? Hindi naman talaga dahil nadumihan ang mga damit nila. Pero pinapractice ng teacher that the pupil or the kindergarten children should be able to dress self. 
kaya niya ng suot yung kanyang skirt o ang kanyang shirt, ang wina-warning lang namin noon ay wag naman paggamitin ng uh, jumper na maraming buttons kasi hindi yun kaya ng bata. They can color within the lines. Wag lang yung maliliit na maliliit na drawing. Uh, dahil large pa ang kanilang uh, field na pag-color. And they can already cut on a line with scissors. So, your art activity should have this. Uh, opportunity for drawing, opportunity for cutting paper. And they love to hold a pair of scissors. At age five, they already have their own self-identity. Their name is very sacred. Pangalan ko yun eh. Yun. They are very self-confident. Pwede lang sabihin ng teacher, tumayo ka dyan dahil hindi ka pa marunong magbasa. Sina, sinisira mo yung self-confidence ng bata. But every little achievement, be sure that you acknowledge. They enjoy group play, they enjoy competitive games. At age five, they are very sociable. So don't let them sit down the whole time in a kindergarten room. They get involved with group discussions. So you can already ask them questions after story reading. You can even group them in small groups and give them something to do. They like adult companionship. They respect authority. They already know how to ask permission. They are aware of rules. At sticklers a rule, ang five-year-old children. They insist on fair play. They enjoy jokes. They can already remain calm in emergencies. And at age five, children are very sensitive to ridicule. Ayaw nilang napapagalitan, so be slow. Uh, meron ako noong rule sa klasiko, once a month, merong, uh, you can tell teacher anything. And one child said, ang ayoko po sa'yo, isa lang naman po may kasalanan, pinapagalitan mo ang buong klase. Ang sama pala noon sa mga bata. No? Uh, so, Pag isa nga lang ang may kasalanan, isa lang naman ang pagalitan mo. Huwag yung buong klase kasi natatakot daw sila kapag pinapagalitan ang buong klase. They are very sensitive to ridicule. Okay. At age five, when they pick up a word during story reading, they make use of those big words. They are capable of using complete sentences. They can already tell the meaning of some words. They can spell out simple words. They can already take turn in conversation. They can wait for their turn. Pwede nang nakikinig sila habang may sumasagot na ibang bata. They have clear ideas and they can articulate them. They can use big words to give or receive information. But you don't repeat as it work. Kahit na gusto mo pa ng mamaster na gusto, ibahin mo. Because they will say, I already know that. Teacher, tapos na yan. I know that already. They ask questions to learn answers. They make up songs. Gustong gusto nilang palitan yung mga lyrics ng songs. They enjoy dictating stories. They may not be able to write the stories yet, but they can dictate them already. After reading a story, they can retell it, and they can tell a familiar story. Well, for uh, uh, urban children, they can answer telephone, and they can uh, remember a message. At age five, they are curious about everything. They want to know how and why. They like to display new knowledge. They have a concept of tomorrow and yesterday. Sa younger years, pag tomorrow, baka sa Pasko pa yon. 
pag yesterday, baka nung isang Pasko pa yon. But now, medyo alam na nilang pag tomorrow, it's the next day. Pag yesterday, it was the day before. They can count 10 objects. They can road count to 20. Uh, even more, di ba? Pwede na ngang hanggang 100, road counting. Pero yung counting with understanding what 2, 3, 4 means uh, up to 10. They can sort objects by single characteristics. Group all the squares, group all the circles, or group all the red and group all the yellow. Hindi pa nila kaya ang group all the yellow squares. Dalawa na yon, hindi pa yon kaya. They can sort colors and shapes. They know their name and their address. They know concepts of smallest, less than, half. At age five, they tell time by the hour. E may mga test na ang kinder teacher na 6.45, 5.15. Parang hindi pa yun masyadong kaya. They know what a calendar is used for. And attention span increases noticeably. From six to seven, you will notice that growth has slowed. Diba? Ay, medyo pumayat na naging lean, pero tumangkad. Diba? They still enjoy acrobatics. They are very boisterous and they enjoy stunts. They need active play to let off steam. Di nila kaya ang nakaupo ng buong three hours. They enjoy challenges in balancing. They like to test limit of own body. And because they are always active, they are hungry at short intervals. And they like sweets very much. The basic skills are already developed. They need refinement. The bones are solidifying. They are susceptible to fatigue. And their visual acuity reaches normal at age six and seven. They are very active and outgoing. They are proud of accomplishments. And in fact, they like to bring home evidence of good work. Pag may star ang papel nila, kukulitin ka na iuwi nila yung papel na yun. And pauwi nyo, or ilagay nyo sa bulletin board. They observe family rules. They make social connections through play. They show politeness. And they show consideration of others. At this stage, six and seven-year-old children enjoy solitary activities. Kaya na nilang maupo sa isang corner. Kaya na nilang magsulat, kaya na nilang mag-browse ng books. They relate physical competence to self-concept. Yung magaling maglaro, yun ang bida. But they are more serious. At age seven, six to seven, they already enjoy putting language skill to paper. So yung mga composing skills, kaya nang gawin ng six to seven-year-old children. They can talk with adults. They can converse with them. They still chatter incessantly. Talagang maingay sila. They can dominate conversation. Speech irregularities are still common. Meron pa silang lisping S. Uh, uh, the acquisition of new words tapers off. Bilingual capacities are nearly complete, kaya dapat nadi-develop to earlier. The ability to learn new language is still present. At age six and seven, they can sequence events and they can tell stories. They like games with simple rules. They may cheat or change the rules. They have appetite for real knowledge. Kaya yung mga how things work, why books, uh, popular yun sa six and seven year old children. They, si they sift and sort information and they can conceptualize 
situations. So notice the characteristics of our kindergarten, grade one, grade two, and up to grade three children. So when we design or when we ask our kindergarten to grade three children, uh, teachers, activities, uh, their lesson plans, take note of the developmental characteristics. Ano ang pwede na at ano ang not yet? Ano ang kaya na nilang mag-isa at ano ang kailangan ng assistance or scaffolding from the teacher? Okay. Now, when it comes to language learning, ah, by the way, sabi nyo, hindi ata ganyan yung aking anak. Uh, there are differences, pero ito yung, uh, in general, average children would have these characteristics. Some are more advanced in some uh, uh, domains. Some are delayed in other domains. So take note. Uh, ang hina niyang sumulat, pero ang galing niyang sumagot. Meron akong grade 1 pupil noon na sasabi, teacher, pwedeng oral na lang po. Kasi ang bagal niyang sumagot ng test. Kaya kahit na alam niyang lahat ng sagot, pag 20 items, nakahanggang 16 lang siya, 16 correct answers lang. So yung delay niya sa motor skill, fine motor skill, nakaka-affect ng kanyang cognitive skill. 